heaven. Just the word sparks wonder even among skeptics. What could such a place actually be like? But what does the Bible really say lies ahead once we leave this weary world behind? In Revelation 21, John describes New Jerusalem coming down adorned like a bride for her groom. The materials composing every structure shine. Gold surfaces more than once, beginning with the street itself. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. Revelation 21 verse 21. Now that captures attention. Imagine walking on solid yet translucent gold, almost swirling patterns beneath your feet. The layer of dust and debris we daily tread dissolves before such purity, such warmth and comfort underfoot. The radiance shining through hints at the unhindered light ahead. Gold also edges the entire city, comprising part of its great and high wall. Revelation 21 verse 18. Just assurance flowing from Christ's love demonstrated through every shining brick mortared by grace. The blessings of that golden city stem from God's presence, no longer distant but tangible and intense. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Revelation 21 verse 22. No intermediaries or restrictions interrupt direct fellowship with the triune God atop those gold-paved roads. The city gleams as if to echo his glory, to refract more facets of his beauty. God appears surrounded by gold. His throne glitters like jasper and ruby. The rainbow halo glows like an emerald, all encircled by that sea of glass, clear as crystal. Revelation 4 verse 2 to 3 and verse 6. Gold mirrors back heaven's brilliance. Even the 24 elders' crowns shine gold, underscoring God sharing his reign across eternity. Golden bowls brim with incense, the prayers of the saints offered before the golden throne. The elect's promised crowns also glint from precious metal, rewards funded by infinite treasure to honor Christ's matchless worth, demonstrated on earth. 1 Peter 5 verse 4. Sin does not fly under the radar there. Instead, realities once invisible to limited human sight stand naked. But we will belong because Christ's righteousness clothes our unholiness before that throne. So gold reflected through transparent streets represents the divine eternal, breaking our linear existence wide open. We enter the circles of never-ending light and life pulsing from the Godhead, bringer of the holy city. The cycling, generous outflow that birthed and sustained creation before extending redemption now draws us near to share joy face to face, not held at bay. The welcoming golden walls foreshadow meeting the dazzling triune community granting us such immediate access forevermore, all by astonishing grace. The golden stronghold of heaven promises we rest in holiness, untouched by evil, rotating in the warmth of God's smile, now unhindered by sin's clouding veil. Hallelujah!